Day two of the search is underway. A crew of 40 or so volunteers are looking for any signs of where Annie Schmidt could be after a week of on and off showers, search crews say these are survivable conditions. Family and friends are staying hopeful. Darkness falls and the reality starts to set in. Search crews regroup after an unsuccessful day in the gorge. We've been blessed with the gift of numbness. It feels like we're in a movie. It doesn't feel real and it's allowing us to be very focused. John Schmidt is among the 40 or so volunteers looking for his daughter. Annie Schmidt's fate now in the hands of strangers. We're just so touched by the people that we're meeting up here. I just I can't believe people up here are amazing. Last seen Sunday morning by her roommate. I feel so horrible and I wish I knew more. And that's, it's hard. I really wish that I knew more. I wish that I contacted her sooner. Annie Schneider also in the gorge comforting family and helping crews look for the young woman. The weirdest thing is that she wasn't taking Snapchats. She wasn't posting anything on Instagram. She's super social and always like, especially if she's somewhere pretty, she'll take pictures of it. Her last Snapchat was sent to family and friends Sunday. It was not enough to narrow down a location. Her roommate says it's not unusual for her to hike alone, but this time she didn't bring any gear. She didn't bring any gear. Her, her tennis shoes are at home. Uh, her jacket is at home, her beanies. Her backpack, she has this little backpack that she calls her adventure backpack. She didn't take it. And so it's weird. With better conditions in the morning, search and rescue will have helicopter support and ask that any hikers be on the lookout. We are hoping for a miracle. Because weather conditions are expected to be better today, they will be getting aircraft support. Now, flyers of Annie Schmidt have been posted at every trailhead at the gorge in case you see her. In the newsroom, Catherine Van, K2 News.